Well, certainly good to start the uh, home portion of our schedule off with the win. Um, you know, American gave us everything that we could uh, could handle. Uh, credit goes to their staff, uh, well-coached team, and they have some talented kids um, and really had us on our heels, especially with their ability to drive the ball and shoot it. Um, you know, and, and in spite of that, you know, I thought that what, you know, the, the thing that we need to fix, um, certainly our second half defense, but, you know, those 50-50 balls, I thought we had some contested shots and forced them into some tough first shots, but, you know, those second shots that they got, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at the box. I don't know if the, if the numbers really indicate how, um, how much that allowed them to get momentum. Um, but these guys have been through a lot um, as players and as a team, and, and certainly they, you know, they were able to make plays down the stretch and, and Keith free throws, Isaiah's bucket, you know, to allow us to come out, as Coach Taylor called it, a, a three-point blowout. But certainly enjoy this one and uh, some things we can learn from, but certainly some things we can correct. And as a staff, we have to go back and, you know, find a way to give these guys a little bit more uh, um, confidence in the second half defensively and then find a way for them to get the 50-50 ball. So that's the uh, shared responsibility in all this. Oh, it's critical. You know, I, especially, I mean, the Morgan State game, you can throw in there, too. I mean, because we had a little bit of, you know, but I think early in the season, those are the experiences that you need uh, to go through. And, and fortunately, we were able to, to hold on in this one. Um, you know, and it's as experienced as we are, we have some guys in some very different roles for us. And we have some new guys that are that are you know, playing significant minutes. So as we figure out our rotation and who needs to be in at those spots, you know, as a staff, we're still figuring some th some things out. But, Corey, that's a great point, you know, to be able to win this one, certainly from a psyche standpoint. But these two guys are too experienced to let one game impact them. But it is important, especially for those new guys in the program. Um, you know, I just wanted to make a play, you know, at least just try to get a shot on the rim, you know, in case I miss, you know, get an offensive rebound, get another chance to put it in. But, you know, luckily I was fouled, but, you know, I've been uh, working on mental toughness all off season. So once I got to the foul line, I was confident, took my time, uh, knocked down the first two. And, you know, like I said, missed the third one, gave our team a chance to uh, tip it back in and, you know, just preserve the home win. So. Was throwing the foul there in your mind at all, or was it just trying to play, play get the ball on the rim? Like, were you trying to draw? Well, I mean, at first I was just gonna shoot it, but then I saw him like lunge towards me, so I just pumped fake, went in for the foul, and you know, just uh, put it in the ref's hand. So then he just made the call. Yeah, they did not take that. <laughs> uh, they were totally yelling worse call. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing you thought it was tough. I mean, I did, you know, get him up in the air, uh, make him pay for it. So you know, the ref called it. You know, I'm gonna go with that, and you know, just. Knocking down two, being confident, you know, just making sure we secure the win. Isaiah, how did you feel out there tonight? It was a new, new career high in you today. Every score double you score, it seemed like in every way possible. How did you feel about just what was working for you tonight and through these first four games and how you've been playing? Uh, really, <clears throat> just tonight, uh, I had a talk with Coach Krim. He said something I, I got away from was shooting before the game. So I just came in uh, early, got a couple shots up, got a, got a good workout in, and I feel like that really built my confidence up for the game. Isaiah, we know you were in here. I'm, I'm oh, not man, sure no. I recall seeing you, you know, <laughs> yeah, no, the no, last no, couple no. years without it. And really, you look as explosive as, as you have since that freshman year. Am I, am I right? Are you 100%? Can you say, was this the first time you're maybe fully at 100% since you were a freshman? Yeah, I mean, um, y'all, you guys don't know how amazing it feels to, to play without those braces. Uh, they they were so restricting. Uh, I feel like I I have more freedom without them. Uh, and yeah, as, as for the explosiveness, uh, I don't think I I don't think I lost a step. Now you you, you felt like um, the past couple of years you were still as explosive. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, Keith, how how important because you played with him for a lot of years. Uh, mm -hmm. He is a terrific dynamic scorer. So when he can do that and take some of that load off of you, how vital is that? Uh, I mean, that's big time. You know. Uh, we all know what Isaiah can do, you know, uh, all NEC in the past, uh, leading scorer for our team in the past. And, you know, a lot of guys, or a lot of teams are going to key in on us. So they're going to key in on me. I just know he's going to be confident. He's going to take over and do what he has to do and, you know, vice versa. But 
Um, tonight, you just showed that they were keying on me. I had a pretty bad first half. He had an amazing first half, an amazing game. So it's just uh, great to know that you got another player like that on your side. Um, describe, your, describe your move to the bucket there. Well, I mean, I was coming up. I was going to come off and pull up, but uh, they were both there. I saw two of them on me, so I kind of backed it out. I, 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 say, I wouldn't say I got away with it, but I did it so fast <laughs> that they couldn't see it. So. It's important, you know, for us to take another step as a program. You know, we need him to play. And, you know, I've challenged both these guys um, because I thought in the past they – both of them really would get kind of lost in the game. You know, and speaking strictly about Isaiah, I thought, you know, in the past he'd kind of drift a little bit. And I've challenged him to be dominant. And not just dominant, you know, in one area, but to try to dominate practice and to try to dominate a shooting drill. And, and he's really taking to that. You know, and both these guys – you know, Keith didn't – shoot a ton of shots tonight but you know when you look at the breakdown of of our roster and our team I mean I've challenged both of these guys to to be the ones that are the aggressor for 40 minutes and to have a kid like Isaiah is you know you know with his ability to score it in a variety of ways as a coach it makes my job really easy because you know that you don't have to call a ton of plays he just has a knack you know to how to score and then Keith's ability to make plays without having to draw everything up to have the combination of these two guys, it's uh, it's a pretty special combination. And, you know, both of them have, have worked on their game this summer to take that next step. And it's nice to see Isaiah uh, reap the benefits of, of some of that hard work.